Okay, so let's now look at using the gradient formula uh, to calculate the gradients of straight lines. And we're also going to be looking at positive, negative, undefined, and zero gradients. So example one, we're given coordinates here. So it starts at 2 and 4 and 12 and 8, and we're asked to find the gradient. So the gradient is given as m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we're just substituting the values. This is y2, this is y1, this is x2, and this is x1. So we're just substituting the values in. So 8 minus 4, x, it will be 12 minus 2. So 8 minus 4 would be 4, 12 minus 2 would be 10, and it will be 4 over 10. Or you can simplify this further as being 2 over 5. So you can leave it as a fraction, as um, is recommended, or you might be given it, or you might decide to change it into a decimal, depending on what the question asks you. And this change as a decimal would be 0 0.4. Example 2. Now we are given points 4, 3, and 8, 11. So now we're asked to find the gradient, which is... So again, the gradient formula. So let's put 11 minus 3 for the change in y. And now the change in x will be 8 minus 4. So 11 minus 3 is 8. And 8 minus 4 is 4. So therefore, we'll have a gradient of 2. Now let's compare those two. We're going to have the gradients. That's the gradient of 0 0.4, 2 over 5, and the gradient of 2. And we can clearly see that the gradient with the higher number is steeper. Example three, now we're given a straight horizontal line. So the change here in y, there is no change because the y coordinates are the same. So m is gonna be four minus four over 10 minus one, and we're gonna have zero divided by nine. And therefore, the gradient m is just zero. So a straight line, horizontal line, no change in y, the gradient is zero. Let's try this one. We've got a vertical, purely vertical. Again, we've got a change in y, but we don't have a change in x. So here the gradient is gonna be six divided, or divided by zero, and we say that the gradient is undefined. So when there is no change in x and the, 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 the straight line is just a vertical line, we say that the gradient is undefined. Let's have another example here. Now we have, from left to right, we have a straight line. The gradient seems to be going downwards. So it's like you're walking downhill. So let's try this. So y2 minus y1. y2 is 2. Uh, yep, so sorry, 2. And y1 is 5. And x2 is 7 and x1 is 2. So 2 minus 5 is minus 3. 7 minus 2 is 5. And the gradient is minus 3 over 5. Or as a decimal, it'll be minus 0 0.6. Now we have a minus number. We have a negative gradient. So from left to right, if it's going downwards and the, there is a, a negative change in y, then we're going to have a negative number. And to think about positive and negative gradients, if you're on a car and you go on uphill like this, then we say it's a positive slope, therefore it's a positive gradient. And when it's going downhill like this, we call it a negative slope. So from left to right is how to, to, to figure that out. So in recap, when the gradient M, we calculate that and it's a positive number, the slope from left to right is going upwards and we say that it's a positive gradient. If the value that you calculated is negative, then the slope from left to right is going downwards. And we call that a negative gradient. If the value of m you calculate is zero, then it's just a straight horizontal line. And we call that a zero gradient. It's just flat. And if m is undefined, then it's just going to be a vertical line. And we call that an undefined gradient. 